everyone, SMG here, welcome back to another video. Now, today we're going to be reacting to the nomination for the 2021 Game Awards. It's going to be amazing, we're going to see which games are going to be the best games of 2021. Go watch the original video, go subscribe to the Game Awards, and we're about to get this started and see who the nominations for the Game Awards 2021 are. Let's get it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. On December 9th, the Game Awards streams live around the world from the Microsoft Theater here in Los Angeles. Who's going to win? Well, first, you have to find out the nominee. Alrighty. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Keeley and welcome to the Game Awards nomination special. We are so awesome. excited that our eighth annual show will be streaming live from right here, the Microsoft Theater on December 9th with an in-person audience. Lots of big world premieres and spectacular live music too, yep. including the return of the Game Awards Orchestra live on that very stage. Amazing. In the weeks ahead, we will tell you much more about the show. Yeah, that's going to be right in person. Now, we are honored to reveal this year's nominees in more than 30 categories, which you can vote on starting right now at the Game Awards. All righty, Conference. let's see those categories. Let's get started. For best performance, the nominees are Erica Mori, Life is Strange, True Colors. Giancarlo Esposito, Far Cry 6. Jason Kelly, Deathloop. Maggie Robertson, Resident Evil Village. And Azioma Aka, Deathloop. Okay. In the category of Best Multiplayer. All right, let's see those. Are, let's see. Back for Blood. Knockout City. Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh. New World. It Takes Two. And Valheim. Alrighty. Best ongoing game. The nominees are I think I know. Apex Legends. No. Call of Duty World. No. Final Fantasy XIV. Mm. Genshin Impact. And Fortnite. Ugh. The nope. nominees for best I don't like those. are Deathloop. Kena, Bridge of Spirits. Psychonauts 2. Ooh, Rest Psychonauts. Blank, Rift Apart. And The Artful Escape. For best score and music, the nominees are. Cyberpunk 2077. Ew. Deathloop. Near Replicant version 1.224744. Are you going to say all those numbers? Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and The Artful Escape. The best audio design nominees are Deathloop, Forza Horizon 5, Ratchet and Forza, Clank, nice. Resident Evil Village and Returnal. Innovation in accessibility presented by Chevrolet recognizes games that are pushing boundaries by making our industry available to more people. Selected by a special committee of accessibility experts, the nominees are Far Cry 6. It sounds like Horizon like Minecraft 5, music. Marvel's Guardians I'm sorry. of the Galaxy, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and The Veil Shadow of the Crown. Next nice. up, best narrative. Narrative. Best story in a game. The nominees are Deathloop. Oh, the lore. Two. It's Life basically lore color, shit and basically. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts is Impact eating good. This is a thought-provoking game with a profound pro-social game. Games for the Impact. The nominees are Before Your Eyes, Boyfriend Dungeon, Chicory, Life is Strange, True Colors, mm -hmm. and No Longer Home. Best independent game celebrates a game made outside of the traditional publishing system. The nominees are 12 Minutes. 12 minutes. Door, Kena, Bridge of Spirits. Alrighty. And Loop Hero. Loop Hero. This so like is Guitar where Hero. will be seated in just a few weeks. But for now, let's get back to the nominations. For best mobile game presented mobile by Mobile game. The nominees are Fantasia, mm -hmm. Genshin Impact, League of Legends Wild Rift, Marvel Future Revolution, and Pokemon Unite. For yeah, Pokemon Unite, Unite is actually really good. For best community support. The nominees are Apex Legends, Apex. Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, right. and No Man's Sky. Alrighty. Best debut indie game recognizes a development studio that published its first ever game All right, in indies. 2021. Let's see. The nominees are Kena, Bridge of Spirits, Sable, The Artful Escape, The Forgotten City, and Valheim. Alrighty. Best VR AR game. The nominees are Hitman 3, I Expect You to Die 2, Lone Echo 2, Resident Evil 4, and 
Giant Sniper Elite VR. The For Content Creator of the Year. Oh, Content Dante Creators. VR. Let's see. Dream. Dream. Ayo. Dallas. Ebuy. And the Graph. They're gonna go. Everyone's gonna action. go dream. The nominees for 2021. I, I, I actually want to see Dream's face, one. maybe. Chivalry 2, Deathloop. Hey, yo. Far Cry 6. And hey, yo, Earth. I'm voting for Dream. I'm sorry, I'm gonna vote action for Dream. Adventure game. The nominees are Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, nice. Metroid Dread. Oh, Metroid Dread. Dread. Yes. Apart, yes. Resident Evil Village and Psychonauts 2. In the category I swear to God, if Metroid Dread game, doesn't get it, the game of the year. Cyberpunk 20 Role playing, all right. Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh. Scarlet Nexus. Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, SMT5. Tales of Arise. Now, before we get to our next categories, let's take a look at what's next in gaming. Of course, you can expect some big world premieres at the show this year. Breath of the Wild 2. Game Breath of the Wild 2. But what game are you most looking forward to? Well, here are the selections for the most anticipated game oh my God, presented by Prime Gaming. And they're gonna, it's gonna, Elden Ring, of course. God of War Ragnarok. Ooh. Horizon Forbidden West. The sequel to the Legend of the Yes! Of the I'm Wild, voting for that one. And yeah! Breath of the Wild. When we started the Game Awards in 2014, Dragon Age Inquisition from Bioware won Game of the Year. And this month, Prime Gaming members can download it for free in addition to Control Ultimate Edition from Remedy, which was nominated for Game of the Year back in 2019. When we're back here on December 9th, we'll Breath of the Wild 2 looks dope. I'm sorry, I, I'm going to vote for that one. Head right now to but I did not expect Dream to, to be in the content creator section. The best fighting game. The nominees Ooh. are Demon Slayer, Guilty Gear Strike, Demon Slayer, Melty Blood, Type Lumina, Nickelodeon. All oh, Star Nick! Ball, Nickelodeon! Nickel Everyone's going to go Nickelodeon now All Star. We are up here on stage, Ayo. where we will hand out trophies and reveal this year's biggest world premieres on December. Nickelodeon. 9. Next up, best family game. Those all Nintendo. Are. It's going to be all Nintendo. H2. Oh. Mario Party Superstar. Mario Party. Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury and WarioWare. Get it together. All it the takes two isn't Nintendo, I don't think. Strategy game. The nominees is are it? Probably Age not. Empires 4. Hey, it's Evil not all Nintendo. World Domination. Humankind. Inscription. And Microsoft Flight Simulator. The category is the sports racing game. Those nominees are F1 2021. FIFA 22. Ooh. Hot Wheels Unleashed. Hot Wheels. Forza Horizon 5. And Riders Republic. Now a look at our esports category, starting with the best esports game. All right, game, I, I'm asleep. Uh, Grubhub. Grubhub. What the hell? Call of Duty. CS:GO. Uh, <laughs> Dota 2. Ayo. League of Legends. Of and course. Valorant. But fucking Grubhub. Nominees are Collapse, Simple, Showmaker, Tens, and Simp. Sim. <laughs> Sim. Oh my God! Perfect. Perfect. Damn one. League of Legends. I'm gonna vote for Sim. Spirit. Dota two. I'm sorry. And Sentinels. Valorant. The best esports coach nominees are Blade, Crowder, and Ed. He kind of looks like a simp. And Silent. Esports events still have been a little different in 2021, but the nominees are the International 2021. 2021 League of Legends World Championship. Oh, nice. Champions Tour Stage I think Masters. the the League of Legends one is my brother Stockholm was in, I think. And PUBG like World my brother's World trying to like Championship get into that one, I think. And now, our final two categories. For best game direction, which recognizes outstanding creative and game of the year. Innovation in game direction and design. The nominees are Death Deathloop, Psychonauts 2, Psychonauts it Takes 2. Returnal and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. All right. And finally, on behalf of the jury comprised of 100 <sighs> game of the year and influencer outlets, I am proud to announce the game six of the nominees. Six nominees. All right. Creative and technical excellence. <sighs> the nominees for game of the year. Game of the year. Deathloop from Arcade Death Loop. Studios. It takes two from Hades. It takes two. Metroid. Oh, Metroid Dread. Metro Dread. Dread. Yes, Nintendo. I knew it. Psychonauts. 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 Fine Productions. Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank. from Insomniac, and Resident Evil oh. from Capcom. All right, I think I'm going Metroid Dread for that one. For the game awards, but what game do you think should walk away with an award? 
Your votes help decide the winners. Head to thegameawards.com right now to vote for nominees and all. All right, I'll do the voting later, but for right now I'm going to get this Thursday, uploaded. December 9th to see who wins. All right, take care, Jeff Keeley. All right. Who do you think represents the bright, bold, and inclusive future of gaming? All right. Um. All right, so, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Go watch the original video, go subscribe to Game Awards, make sure like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. Amazing uh, nominees. I'm, I, I gotta say, amazing nominees. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, guys, thanks for watching, and deuces.